The sponsor of this episode is BetterHelp. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. We want you all to know that your mental health matters and you're not in this journey alone. It can be difficult and we want you to seek better help. Mm -hmm. uh, I know for me, therapy has been a, a huge part of my mental health journey and just becoming um, a grounded person. Uh, when I'm feeling most frazzled and most stuck and like I can't figure out what's going on or something that I'm going through um, having my therapist to talk through things and figure out what I'm feeling because you don't always know what you're feeling right like you don't always know what's wrong you just know something's wrong mm -hmm. and having this person to help me get in there and figure out what's holding me back or, or stopping me up um, it has been a huge part of my mental health journey and something uh, I cherish and is important to me. Yeah. yeah, talking to someone who had no stake in me, no stake in my success or who I was, mm. um, no bias towards me, was one of the best things that I've ever done for my mental health. It helped me to perceive myself as a real person worthy of this life beyond any achievements. And that was everything to me yeah it's real guys so uh we want you to go ahead and start your therapy journey with better help it's designed to be convenient accessible and it's all online yeah if if you're ready to consider therapy please consider our sponsor better help go to betterhelp.com slash neds declassified for 10 percent off your first month of therapy with a licensed professional specific to your needs better help also makes it really easy if you don't connect with the first therapist you work with they make it really easy to find another one um, because it's a very personal relationship so um, find someone you connect with and get that help you don't have to do it all alone Forget what you know about therapy and get better help. Exciting news, Woo! guys! Woo! Oh, we yeah. are here to announce that the Ned's nudes have finally leaked. No, oh, dude. dude. We're, We're doing, doing Ned's Squad Live! Hey! Hey! Let's go! No more of this screen action. We want to see you in person. Okay, space is limited at the Regent Theater in downtown Los Angeles. Monday, November 13th. We're bringing Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide and all its insanity. Monday, November 13th, in person. Oh, yeah. All the smells. All the nostalgia. All the realness. And come see us. Tickets are available now. Link in the description. My own breath. It's not awful. I'd kiss it, but it's there. Right. Daniel? Hmm? What are you doing on your breath? <laughs> <laughs> Don't let any of that stink escape. I'm sure it's there. Cool, we're on a podcast. Hey, we're on a podcast. Hey Smelling our own farts. Mm. Um, guys. Yeah. Hey. Halloween is in a couple weeks. Halloween. Right. Spooky. Spooky season Spooky. is here. And so I thought it would be fun for us to do, actually this was Lindsay's idea. Lindsay thought it would be fun <laughs> for us to have a very special Halloween episode. Yes, of but the we, forgot. Devin executed we forgot this the for costumes. Us. I didn't. I got us costumes. So I think we should put them on and then we'll start this pod. For those of you listening at home, on Spotify, on Apple, on your podcast catchers, listening in your car, just listening, not watching the YouTube. You're going to miss out on the fun of our costumes. However, you will not miss out on the fun of our conversation. Yay. Okay. Ayo. But we're going to go put on these costumes. And, um, and we have no, I no idea what these Yeah, they haven't are. seen these yet. No idea. Okay. <laughs> Shall we? Yep. One, two, three. Hey! Hey! <laughs> 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 We are in costume. Yeah. Nice, Dev. We are here. Good job. Nice. Good job. You guys good, look amazing. Good choices. Um, for you listeners uh, on audio only, <laughs> Daniel is a hot dog. Hot dog. Glizzy. Glizzy man. Lindsay is a banana. 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 And I am a pickle. The hey, top of it looks like the head Rick. of a penis. It should. Pickles, pickles and penises like it, are... But then it like comes back in, you know what I mean? So it's like the... But yeah, now it's really a head. What's that like nasty, ugly growth coming out of it, though? 
What do you mean? Your face. Oh, it's his you face. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> what was that stand up bit y'all were trying to do the other day? Which one? We're, we're, it's not so funny. Oh, the, with the funny bone. Lindsay hit her funny bone yesterday, and it was. <gasps> yeah, no, I'm not even gonna. <laughs> yeah, Daniel's an amazing stand up comedian. What's the deal with a funny bone? <laughs> That's not funny. When you at hit all. it, it's not funny at all. Oh, Am I right? But, um. <laughs> Am I, Am I right, right Boise? <laughs> wow. Um, so this is our Halloween episode of the podcast because we are officially in spooky season. Mm. Yes. Um, do you guys fucks with the pumpkin spice lattes? Oh, no. I, I actually don't. I don't mean to hate on it at all because usually I really like pumpkin, mm. uh, you know, flavored things, but... I just, it gets a little milky. I don't really love chai. That's the thing. I don't oh. like that milky, like, taste. That, oh, yeah. Oh, got the ears? You know now. what you look like from VeggieTales? Oh, one of those guys, yeah. You look like a pharaoh. Kind of, it looks like a pharaoh, yeah. Green, pharaoh with green. It's weird, it's weird. <laughs> it's weird. If only you can see but yourself. But great. I can't, um, <laughs> this is all you. But yeah, the pumpkin spice kind of just starts to taste like watered down milk. Mm. I'm with you. I, I don't do, like, sweet coffee, not really. I just, I'm just with you. Cold, cold brew, black. You know what I mean? I don't mind. I don't mind the pumpkin spice. It's not something I'll ever go and ask. I can't really just fix my mouth to ask someone for a pumpkin spice. It just makes me feel all gross. Daniel, I just got to say, you're the sexiest hot dog I've ever seen. <laughs> right? I've come down from Mount Glizzy to <laughs> grace you all with my presence. Yeah, the buddy. Way, the way your beard like, oh my God. just works with this fucking hot dog hood. Oh, my hey, God. Hey. Oh, my Ooh, God. Honey. Yeah. I'm wet. Because <laughs> you're a pickle. Pickles are what? Yeah, pickles are Usually. soaked in brine. Yes. <laughs> soaked in brine. Um, any favorite <laughs> Halloween memories? Oh, actually, I just I just thought of my own. I'll answer my own question. Great. Um, we had that amazing Ned's Halloween party. One of our makeup uh people on Ned's, Mary Resnick, would throw these epic Halloween parties at her house. And we had one one year where Lindsay and Carly Casey, who played Missy Meanie, um, they showed up as Ned and Coconut Head. Oh, lit. so good. Like in one one of our best. Incredible. And then I think we put socks in our crotches. Exactly. To emphasize that you were me and Rob, huge cocks. With huh. penises. Yeah, with with huge dicks. Right? Um, yeah, yeah. That was a, that was a good one. That, that was like a classic so good. costume. We have those photos somewhere. Oh, I'll have to try and find yeah, those. Yeah, let's let's find those again. Lit. Um, Halloween for me, uh, ooh, you know, uh, I, 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 I'm not the most creative when it comes to like aesthetics and costume and makeup mm. and all of that. Like I, I mean, I, as you can tell from this podcast, um, <laughs> but I, like, I always find it really incredible. All my friends can do these incredible transformations and things, but I yeah. just guess I've never been very good at it. So I've never really been that into Halloween, mm. Yeah, you know, like doing the full out crazy, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. But you don't strike me as a big Halloweener, Daniel. Dude, no, I mean, I, I'm the type of person. Halloweener, <laughs> but um, shh, he's good. He's witty. He's on his toes. <laughs> um, dude, I'm not a big holiday guy in general. Mm. I feel like it's a little bit extra, like, you know, all this. Oh, tradition. I'm dreading Christmas you know, this year. Know. I'm dreading. I know. Oh, it's the love, worst time of tradition, year. Oh, my God. No, joy. I'm dreading it. Ugh. Why the fuck are they so close together? Why? Thanksgiving, Christmas, move New it. Year. It's enough. Yeah. We've okay. Got too many of those. Put something in April. It's Nobody called the looks holiday. To anything season. in April. Yeah. Season. It is a whole well. season. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, no, but Halloween, I, I used to love as like a kid, but that's like yeah. most things. Like Christmas, too. It's just when you become an adult and it's your responsibility to make other people happy. Right. Like, oh, this sucks. Yeah. Cut it out. But, um, dude, I, we used to do these, like, hay rides back in Mississippi because I lived on this, like, acreage with or live on this, like, acreage with just, like, my family members. It's, like, uh, nine brothers and sisters of my dad. So all of the family members would come out, and we would do these, like, hay rides and stuff like that. How did I never know nine That's brothers incredible. and sisters? Yeah, my mom, 12. My mom comes from a family of 12. How yeah. did I not know this? You have a huge family. Big family, the Lees. The Lees, the Lees are huge. Clinton, Mississippi, yeah. Dang. All right, so you live on huge acreage. Yeah, and so um, we would do, and it's like in the sticks. We're in the woods, yeah. all right? We got this like kind of one road and, you know, every all the cousins have their own little kind of street pretty much. But my grandfather had this thing and he'd been doing it since the kids were young where he would put them all in the back of uh, all the younger kids, like under seven pretty much, put them in the back of the truck and they would just go on the off beaten paths and stuff like that. And there would be like uncles and aunts somewhere waiting no. to jump scare us. 
Oh. And it was just super cool. I, I love it. That's amazing. Oh. Your your own private haunted hayride. You know, normally yeah. you gotta go like pay a little ticket fee, go to somewhere that someone's putting it on. Mm -hmm. You guys just had it in-house. Yeah, yeah. So and sweet that they hey, went that's and Uncle John. you. Saint May. I'm not that, even frightened, but yeah. That's so sweet. Yeah. <laughs> Good times. Good yeah, time. I for sure loved Halloween as a child, for sure. Trick-or-treating is like the best time in the world. Go fill up a, a pillow sack full of candy. Are you kidding me? When yeah, I think about how innocent walking down the street was during Halloween, like my, my mom would stay at the end of a block and just let me... You know what I mean? In, Walk. in Georgia, yeah. our parents, like at a certain age, our parents wouldn't even, like we're in our neighborhood. Yeah. Like, it was yeah. safe enough yep. to go, yep. go. But the kids yeah. are out. Nope, don't don't feel that anymore. Not, I mean, not in Los Angeles. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. The um, freaks come out <laughs> all times of year. Yeah, yep. yeah. 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 I know, there's such a The portal here is that. even more strong. There, there's oh, certain Halloween. neighborhoods though when I drive around like in October where I see kids doing it. There's certain neighborhoods in LA where Super I see the cute. little trick-or-treaters. So cute, yeah. man. Yeah, that is really sweet. What a precious time in life. Gosh, Dude. dress up. If only up we had and, known. Yeah. You yeah. are you are the Veggie Tales when he becomes the Pharaoh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so right, you're so like, right, dude. You remember? You gotta see yourself. Oh man, you gotta see yourself. It's Do you know incredible. Veggie Tales? You know Veggie Do you know Veggie Tales? Yeah, but like not specifically. Like I know oh. it generally, like a broad stroke. You yeah, kind of. Yeah, same thing. But. Um, all I know is he was always perturbed about something. Always pretty. Uh huh. <laughs> I'm an angry pickle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, Do pickles go to heaven? It was a Christian me? thing. Do pickles go to heaven? Veggie Tales was Christian. Yeah. <laughs> Veggie Tales was straight up Christian. I yeah, really? we watched it. We watched it in episode. after school. I don't remember this at all. No, with Pharaoh. Pharaoh, let my yeah. people go. Oh, yeah. I'm and a pickle. then give me a bite of some of that <laughs> delicious juiciness. Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> so wait, are you guys those kind of people who will just buy a pickle in a bag from the street? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, sure. I hate Love pickles a pickle. in bags. I hate to see people eat pickles. I hate I people I completely eating agree. Bags. Any I mean, pickle, bags any pickles. form. I only eat sliced <laughs> pickles on my uh, like sandwiches Chick -fil -A. and stuff like that. Oh, any good. pickle, yeah. anytime, anywhere, you'll, you'll any have the place. Pickle. You know, they. <laughs> I've just gotten on board with the pickle chip. Oh, that's about as far as I can get. Fried pickles, I love. They're Again, that's chips. about Not as far as I can chips. get. Damn, pickle chips! I got to try these pickle chips. Oh my gosh! Yeah, get them from like that pickle that flavored kettle, chips? That ke kettle yeah. chip yeah, company dill, that dill makes chips. such Oh, dummy. it's just like a dill pickle pot potato flavored chip. Yeah. chip. It's a potato. Yes, with flavor you thought it was literally bits of. Uh, pickles, yeah, <laughs> like dehydrated pickles, yeah. That would nope. That's, that's actually, <laughs> I'm going to dehydrate some pickles and make a lot of money, guys. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> what about what about y'all? Did you go big for Halloween? Uh, I used to like for sure as a kid. It was big. Um, Were you good with like the costumes? Did you get something from the store? Were they homemade? His mom like, would knit him his costumes. You son of a bitch! I knew you were gonna do <laughs> I it. Know it. That was for That's a play, you bitch. Role. That was for a play, you bitch. <laughs> I mean, um, <laughs> <laughs> knew you were gonna do it. My family, my dad was really into Halloween. Like it was a it was a vibe. Like at our house for sure as a kid. And then, like, in L.A. as teenagers, for sure, like, Halloween parties, yeah, like, that was a home. fun time in life. I, for, like, a few years was doing this fucking thing where, like, you know, girls would always get sexy at, oh, at yeah. Halloween. <gasps> and so I would do this thing where I'm like, well, I'm not being left out of that, like, in a comical way. So I would wear, I would do whatever my costume was, was, like, short, short, shorts as a dude. Just, I was like, you guys, look, isn't that funny? Like, I'm sexy too. Um, <laughs> but then I would often get to these parties, like, you know, like in like Reno 911, like short cop shorts. And then I'd feel exposed, you know? Damn, <laughs> yeah, sure. I'm like, yeah. damn, there's a cost to this sexiness, ladies. Right? Damn, like, you're hard. now naked at a party. Right? Like, my thighs are out at this Just party. Just wait till you try to yeah. walk to your car. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah. I did. So. <laughs> um, but yes, yeah, he looks like Darth Vader. Now. I can't. I can't, <laughs> he can't handle that pickle. Dude. He can't handle it. The pickle too he much for him. <laughs> He's being sucked in. We oh. can't help you now. Am I the pickle or is the pickle me? Oh, um, no, pickle Rick. Yeah. So, <laughs> so I, <laughs> he I looks love it. like a pharaoh. Yeah. I can't handle. Uh, <laughs> dude. So, fuck. So yeah, I definitely had like years <laughs> where. <laughs> Ridiculous. I love it. <laughs> you sons of bitches. I had I can't see myself, so I'm just living. Um I definitely had years where I would <laughs> you just revert back into, into it. <laughs> it just continues to consume him. So 
know, I just had years. <laughs> <laughs> I would do these like dumb comedic sexy guy outfits, but like to be funny. Um, and I, I, I always loved the Halloween party. Like there's something so liberating mm -hmm. about being at a party where everyone's in costume. Mm. So even when I get grinchy about it some years where I'm like, I just don't want to put in the effort myself, when I end up at a costume party, like yeah. you're glad you went because there's a freedom that happens at a party <sighs> when everyone looks either cool, sexy, or like a fucking idiot. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. But like there really is a freedom when everyone is dressed in costume. Like, yeah. Dude, this costume is devouring you. Is, <laughs> it's poorly manufactured. I can't, I can't. Is there a way for it to Wait, stay? wait, wait. Can you slide it down? Slide it down some. Slide it yeah, down Yeah, some. yeah, yeah. Like, it's down. riding up, man. There we go. There, there you we go. go. It's fucking riding. Damn. Damn. But look at that body. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, give him yeah, some. Give, give him give some. Give the people yeah. what they want. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. uh -huh. Hey. I'm wow. Coming, I'm nice and salty. Um, but I really do love that freedom that happens at a costume party, man. It's a, it's a, there's a different level of play and yeah. mischief in the air. Didn't you tell me something about like a masked party you went to? I don't know if it was an no, orgy a or wig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, eyes wide shut is his reality. <laughs> or was it a? Was it, I think you said party, but I don't know. Uh, Damn. <laughs> Were there we'll, multiple we'll people with their cocks out? The pod. It was a nuts. party. It was a party. Um, no, there was a wig. It was such a simple theme to make a bridge. <laughs> yo. <laughs> hey, yo. Just, I'm going to take thing. this shit off. It's I'm like fighting you're going... for my life. <laughs> I'm fighting for my life. This costume is swamp. <laughs> Should we switch real quick? No. You want to switch? No. That'll be fun. No. Let's just do it. Lindsay might be a better pickle than you. No, Should we? It's Come good. on. No, no, no. You're good. Come yeah. on. Let's do it on the pod. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Snap again, guys? Come on. Yeah, take it yeah. off. Ow. Switching. Switching. Ew. So you can see the match cut Ew. Enjoy being swallowed. Ew. Yeah. Oh. No, I mean, Lindsay, she can control the pickle. She can God. control it. <laughs> but can you control the nana? Can you control the banana? Here you go. Okay, no, you're good now. <laughs> Lindsay's being swallowed alive. Nope, I have a fix for that. <laughs> Oh, you got your pin thing? Oh. Yeah, I do. Now you look like a nun. Well, you kind of look like a... Yeah. She looks like the nun from that movie, The Nun, the, the scary movie. Or like movie. Whoopi Goldberg? Maybe a little bit. From Sister Act? Oh, uh, yeah. Those, those nuns, yeah. Nice. We're better now, guys. That was more fun than We're you better. thought it would be, huh? Yeah, I feel better. The, the banana doesn't feel like it's swallowing me as much as the pick. Yep. You got to swallow... Um, the... You got to... Let's move on. Moving on. Uh, yes, there was a wig-themed party. A wig Not Halloween, party. but the yeah. simplest theme to make a party really fun because people are more free when, you're, when everything's a little just... There's weird. anonymity involved. Yes, there's, there's playfulness a, like built in. Like We're not just ourselves, our boring selves. Mm -hmm. We're Dracula. We're what, you know, whatever the fuck mm -hmm. you are. Yeah. You look great. <laughs> I don't see why you guys were so distracted. It works. It works. Yeah. This looks totally reasonable to me. Right? <laughs> Dude. Hey, now, what is the oldest date that you went trick-or-treating? Like, like, how old were you? Like, how, when did you stop? Yep. There was definitely that year where, where you It was you real uncomfortable. Old. Yeah. Yeah. I think I was probably like 15 back in Georgia. <laughs> and it's like, this is too much, guys. <laughs> we're too old now. Yeah. What about you? Um, I think did you trick-or-treat in Long Beach? In Long Beach, like, oh, like maybe Wise or something like that, but it was like 13 and 14. Like, then it got a little bit to where it's like, okay, a little, little, little dangerous. And then also, just, yeah, just a little, little bit much. Yeah, being a certain age, not knowing how you'll be perceived running up to a house. You yeah. Know, like, yeah. Especially because I didn't put so much work into the costume. So it's like, I'm right. It's like you in a t shirt like, <laughs> holding, holding your hand out for candy. Uh -uh. <laughs> <laughs> you have a beard. Yeah. They're like, uh, the guy's like, this isn't funny for me. <laughs> Call the cops. <laughs> but yeah, man. How about you? Uh, there's a microphone, Lindsay. Well, I wasn't saying anything quite then. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> God, fuck. <laughs> what? Dude, the... This episode's going to be How old were you? Mess. Or what was the, the oldest it that you trick-or-treated? It was the oldest you, you trick-or-treated. Well, I moved to LA when I was 12. Mm. And all childhood stopped after that. Got it. Well, dang. <laughs> Got it. You're just a working. You were just working. That's it. Yeah. No time for fun. Well, I was in a state of survival and anxiety constantly. Oh. <laughs> hey. Yeah. 
Um, you did the uh, Knott's Berry Farms, the Halloween Horror oh, Nights. Ooh. The, the, yeah, we uh, we used to get invited to those opening nights, like Halloween Horror Nights, Knott's Berry Farms. Um, those were always fun. I only liked going when uh, we were invited to the opening night because there was less people in the mm. park. Like yeah. it was like a preview night. Right. When I went to to general population Halloween Horror Nights, <laughs> I stopped going because you have to wait two hours oh, yeah. in line to go through a 12 minute haunted house yeah. and then get in another fucking two hour line. Yeah. I yeah. don't understand. Yeah. yeah, That's not a fun night. No. Yeah. People Even love it parks. though. Theme right now, in someone's in line at fucking Halloween Horror Nights. Like, 100%. <laughs> hey, quick question. Do y'all believe in supernatural things? Do y'all have any ghosts with you? Daniel? Do you have any ghost friends? Uh, no, no ghost. I, I really don't no believe ghost. in the paranormal. I'm not gonna lie. I, mm, yeah, no. Well, Out of body experiences, yes. Psychedelics, I believe in those. Yeah, but not ghosts, not spooky ghouls. I don't believe there are people or or yeah entities walking among us. I don't. I don't believe that. That's just me. I had a real crazy hallucination once of like <laughs> chef from South Park walking towards me and then disintegrating up into the sky. And Damn. I thought, Lindsay, you got to get away from this 5 a.m. run riddled on Adderall. You got to go to sleep. Damn. Okay, turn your ass around. Go back to fucking sleep. I actually backed myself against a fucking fence. I backed oh my myself God. against a fucking fence because it was just like. <laughs> chef. What was he saying? He said nothing, but he had his chef. <laughs> I love it. Oh man. That's I love that you asked about do you guys believe in the paranormal? And then you say That's I hallucinated chef from South Park Bruh. flying off to heaven once. Bruh. Right? So I'm like <sighs> it's possible. <laughs> Dude. Well then what 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 is the closest to supernatural or paranormal that you believe? Closest to supernatural or paranormal that I believe. Like believe in. Mm, like are aliens tough. paranormal or are they just See, that's exist? a good question because I'm like. count as paranormal, but we could fold them into this conversation. But paranormal? It, shit yeah, ain't right. Normal. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, I do feel like maybe there could be an entity that is um, on a different time frame than us and not perceptible to our senses maybe. But I don't think they are like ghostly. I'm with you. Like, I believe the world is very mysterious and like there's yeah. there's energy. I, like, I Our believe we're all so guided much. by things. I don't know where they are, but like ancestors, right? Like, I believe oh. in these things, this guidance from ancestors. Like, you know, when some part of your intuition tells you to fucking go left and like all of a sudden things are okay and you miss that chaos, like something, I, I, like I do believe the world is mysterious in that way. I'm not so arrogant to say like everything is exactly how I see it. Uh, but I'm with you that like I don't go into like thinking it's like spooky land and like yeah. ghouls and zombies and like oh let's go get afraid. No, I think it's much more like mystical and and magical. Yeah, and mm. and connected to our heart, not like spooky land. Although I think I guess I think I told you the story. Although like I I know a family who they are not uh, oh. <laughs> they are not woo woo, and yeah. they were like. No, our house is haunted and by a racist ghost. By a racist right? ghost. Yeah, I told <laughs> oh, you guys no. this. I'm sorry, that shit is Projection too funny. Much? Is that not <laughs> insane? Damn. Damn. The, the kid you kinda gotta tell the story. Yeah, but all right. a... I, I told it once on the pod, but I'll tell it again. Um racist it, ghost. it's crazy, dude. Like this the family that we grew up with, um, a white family who adopted a young black boy. Uh, they Whoa. moved. They moved to the the deep south of Georgia. Oh, shit. And they they live in an old house. And they were like, and these are these are very like, like plantation like, home house or no, but like, like a, that old, era, old right? House, yeah. Like, yeah, mm -hmm. that era. It's not a plantation home, but like yeah. that era. Yeah. And uh, this is not a woo. These are not woo woo people. These are very material, straightforward, loving, beautiful people. Um, and they were like, yeah, no, it's it's fucked up and weird. Our house is like fucking haunted. They their their son, their black son, like. Specifically, he was getting haunted, no. harassed, <laughs> harassed no. by a fucking racist ghost, dude. Oh, no. Like, yeah, yeah dude. No. And they yeah. were like, and and they all said it. They're like, we would hear the footsteps and shit. But the son um would wake up crying and, and describe to them what was happening. There's a man at the end of my bed. He he wants to harm me. Like 
Like, Bruh. like this crazy shit. They're not making it up. And their son isn't crazy. He was a young, I love this kid. He was a young, sweet kid. And they were, they were like, this is, this is crazy. So I guess some places <laughs> Dude, have ghosts and some of them are, are racist. racist. Dude, I don't know. It's so, it's so hard, bro, because I feel like it's um, what he, it's like they're gaslighting the kid. He's like, no, I swear. There's a, well, no, that wouldn't be gaslighting because they're agreeing with it. That's what I'm saying, bro. Uh, like, what do you mean? I'm they like, love him. They, I, He's me, the one saying it. I feel like there was some malicious neighbor around just yelling slurs <laughs> no, outside bro. the window. The kid was, like, it's a ghost. <laughs> No, the kid was waking up in the middle of the night with the shit like, dude. So that that's the only time in my life I've heard a story from people that I trust enough where I'm like, well, I can't explain that. That's outside of my belief system. And like, damn, I'm not going to tell you you're Bruh. wrong. Like, holy shit. <sighs> okay, so what do, you, what do you think about the different frequencies in crop circles? What? Like, what does that mean? What do you mean? When you say the frequency is what you mean, like the distance? There's is? a different frequency in crop oh. circles, they say, than outside a of A frequency them. of what? Just a different frequency. Uh, Measured by what? What frequency? Hertz? I, I, Are you sound? About sound? Like, what more? do you mean? Just, they would go in there and the space was different. They would have this machine. It wasn't based on sound. I don't know what, what that means. Well, no, no, no. They do have those. What do you call those things that measure the paranormal activity in an area? Is that, that what you're talking that, about? Like I mean, EKG? I, I don't know. Kind of electromagnetic, like, yeah. Yeah. yes. Frequencies or something. Yes. Okay. That's what know. it is. I don't, I don't know it and I don't believe that it's true. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I just, I then don't know. Then how do crop, what are crop circles? No idea. Lindsay. There's a guy. What are, yeah. there's what a are guy, crop circles? There's a guy who has like a plank that's about shoulder length wide and he has like these like straps and he'll just step on the crop and he'll just go in a circle. Uh, then why are they all cut at the exact same spot? Like I mean, you got to do some research on crop circles. Yeah, to see no, what there's I'm definitely about. some weirdness, but I have. I've no, seen people I, I, fake crop circles. Yeah, like you can do uh, it. obviously, oh, obviously, but people I don't can have fake an, it, enough but, of an opinion on. Like I don't know. I always thought that those were real fucking weird. Well, especially you being from Nebraska. Oh, yeah, all you guys all. have is crops, crops and crop circles. <laughs> yeah, no, it's 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 pretty it's pretty wild though. Like the sacred geometry of these yeah, crop yeah, circles. Yeah, yeah, the perfect geometry. And it's like, how can you do that from the ground? Right. Right, how can you make this? Exactly. Yeah. Well, you But can, I don't know. There, there can be an algorithm you follow. Okay, three steps this way, four steps this way, six steps this way, seven yeah, steps but like this how, way. Yeah, but like how, like these- now, Have you seen some of them? Like, I know well, what you're saying. Some of them are like- sacred intri geometry. Intricate. But you also, on Photoshop, can just tell something to just, you know, create a pattern. That's on Photoshop, but these have been happening for pre-Photoshop. Oh. These have been yeah, happening in the 90s. For forever. Like, there's stuff photograph. People have been able to do some pretty complex- um, plotting uh on graphs so if you can do it on a graph you can do it on the floor that's just me that's just but me. like with what materials like just a plank in your feet <sighs> yeah but they <laughs> but they appear overnight yeah do you oh, know what i mean like, like they're the there story. and then they're not the, yeah gotta move. <laughs> god damn it yeah, santa's <laughs> making it <laughs> santa no no that he's He's real. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait. Have you guys seen that girl on the plane where she's like, I don't care what anybody says. That motherfucker is not real. <laughs> wait, who? You've not seen what? that? Yeah, the I have. Like I have. A... But what, what was her explanation? <laughs> that was wild. <laughs> uh, Just that I think motherfucker she... ain't real. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you see an interview with a guy? Which, which guy? Because I saw like two different guys who gave two different stories. <laughs> like weeks later, I saw like that. I don't know if it was real or not, but, but they were like interviewing the guy that was sitting next to her. He was pretty fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. Was like he the he, guy who was like, I don't want to press charges? That guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah uh -huh. Like, strange vibe, but also, like, she was having, like, a break from reality, you know? Like, she was It'd be having like problems. Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. I've been did, like, did, she was having she, a mental break. Did she say that? Dude, she stood up to no, get off the plane. No, 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 but I'm plane. asking, because she's been interviewed since. I haven't seen her interviewed, but <laughs> I just like, know no. that terror that was in her eye yeah. and her pointing at a human sitting next to right. her on the plane saying, I don't care what you tell me, that motherfucker is not real. <laughs> That's a uh, like a paranoid <laughs> break from reality. Yeah. I don't know what to call it. You're in delusion land. Like I've Bro. seen it in like people. Like chef. <laughs> like <laughs> like, like, like Lindsay chef, was. It's not real. <laughs> it's like, chef. It scared me against <laughs> the fence, you guys. And then like, you don't understand. I knocked myself into a fence. I was so scared. <laughs> did he look menacing? Like No, he want not even. He Just like glorious. coming at me. But his eyes were open. Dang. <laughs> I just think of that one song from South Park where it's like, like suck on my chocolate salt. <laughs> 
<laughs> chocolate salty balls. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just singing that. Chocolate oh, no. salty balls. And he has it in that Barry White tone. <laughs> yeah, man. Was Barry White originally him? Who, no, it's who Isaac. Um, Isaac Hayes. Isaac Hayes. Yeah, yeah, same same idea, you know? Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Same idea. Yeah, same. <laughs> same. Um, same. Um, <laughs> yeah. Damn. Yeah, I'm, I, I'm s- skeptical enough about crop circles, but I'm not like Daniel where I think I can explain them. Like, no, nah, something weird's happening. I don't know. At this point in my life, with so many things, like, Everyone, I fucking no. You guys don't. I know. <laughs> now there's so many things like where I'm like, I don't know, and I'm not going to. So that's that's where I'm at. And I'm gonna focus on my life. You know what I mean? That's why you believe in that the flat Earth could be possible. Fuck <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, you know, Devin. You yes. know. Oh, you know. Yes. Oh. No. Oh, you know. No. Yeah, that's not a mysterious thing. Wow. That's like a. That's a. It's thing. called it's laws. perception. It's physics. called. Nope. Subjectivity. It's called physics. It's called Everybody science. experiences their own physics, Devin. Nope. Yes. Uh, <laughs> nope. Indeed. Uh, like even the alien. Did you guys see that fucking alien from Wait, Mexico? Mexico? Yeah. <laughs> Bro. I say alien with quotes, guys. Oh my god. And they were did misleading you see that too. They're like, they're like, these things are two thousand years old. <laughs> What was it though? <laughs> Who fucking knows? But like, <laughs> that is funny, bro. Bro, <laughs> but what? What do you honestly think? Do I you think, think someone's running a scam, bro. It has to be for some attention, right? some money. But they fooled the Mexican government. Like they had a full little conference on it. Yeah, they had this press conference. Like these are the fossilized bones of an extraterrestrial species, and you just see it, and it's just like a little fucking play doh. <laughs> it's like, like a paper mache ah! fucking yeah, child's craft. Like what? Uh, uh, man. And that's how I feel with aliens. Look, guys, I know you believe in aliens out there. I do too. Like, I, I believe like, fuck, there's got to be other things. Like the universe things. is infinite. Yeah, what, what defines an organism? There, I don't there know. must be levels of organisms yeah. out there. Maybe, maybe organisms way beyond us. Sure. And there's enough, there's enough weird reports of, of UFOs yeah. and shit throughout history that like, there's enough weirdness that for sure there's some shit we don't know but yeah. until well, until there's some fucking clarity yeah. and like i don't care yeah every yeah, video on. was filmed it's, on a fucking potato yeah don't like Super until there's some high def footage don't call me about it don't talk to, yeah, yeah i don't I got, care i got debts to pay i don't give yeah like i got aliens. bills man yeah, and like a life in front of me like Bruh. what are we doing but wasn't it true that the fbi or the, well not wasn't it true i think i read somewhere once that the fbi or the cia actually had to open like open a investigation on the abduction stories that were happening because they were all the same exact story. Yes, and there's weird ones like like i think the 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 big one i think it was like these kids in africa Um, who all, like, it was like a bunch of them and they all got interviewed separately after they, like, described it and they all described the very same details of this alien abduction of them getting taken up into the ship and put back down and it's just like, did they all, like, logic is trying to say, like, oh, did they all have a collective hallucination? Did they all come up with this story? And it's just like, no, it's too lined up. Like, Something happened. Yeah, the guy gave them each five dollars and said, "Recant wow. this." Wow. Such a fucking wow. but <laughs> Daniel, there, there, there are mean? there are tens and tens yeah, of thousands no, oh. of these reports yeah. where it's they said that every person d- without knowing each other without it's like quantum. You know what I mean? They yeah. There's too many reports, reports that are the exact them same details. Yeah, fantasy. Yeah. I I, I mean, agree with that. Okay. <laughs> Daniel, I'm is skeptical. there anything I'm, I'm skeptic. your logic can't solve? I'm skeptic. No, my, the logic logic is uh, is great. It's the great equalizer. You know, <laughs> if you if you can't logically prove it to me, it's false. Wow. Adios, God. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, no, no, I mean. Oh, oh, okay. oh, no, no, that, no, that, oh. I believe in certain the big fairies. The G-O-D. Uh-huh. <laughs> no, um, yeah, it's it's a it's a hard one. Um, the aliens, I do. I say the aliens. Let me not put the. That article is wrong. Aliens, to me, must exist. Alien, just something outside of our realm of understanding. There are so many universes so far away, so many different chemicals meeting and, you know, having this interplay. There are likely... Intercourse, why not? There are likely beings that do not exist off of oxygen and carbon. Maybe they're made out of sort of 
sulfuric acid, something that'll kill Ooh. us. But over time, that's what, you know. Stinky, so, stinky egg beings. Wait, 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 wait. That. Is that where I hail from? I'm <laughs> pretty sure, yeah, your home planet is the fucking stinky egg land. <laughs> <laughs> there's just a big egg in the sky. <laughs> Bruh. Bruh. This is where you go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's gotta be just more in the universe. But until we get some clear fucking footage of yeah. it, and there's some clarity on it, like just the way people get obsessed about it. I'm like, relax, baby. Yeah, fall back. Yeah, don't do that. Fall back. Fall back. <laughs> yeah. I wish I could be abducted. Yeah? Hmm? No, that honestly, I don't want it. Um, that honestly sounds terrible. Because yeah. don't they prod them and poke them and well, like exactly? There's them different with reports. Yeah, there's different reports. There's like the people who were like, I went up and whatever. I either forget and then I was back or like, there was like some benevolent thing happening or some neutral thing happening. And then there's definitely reports like that go back like deep into the, you know, 50s, 60s of like. No, I was roto rooter. Yeah, they were. They <laughs> checked out my butthole. Right. <laughs> Dang. No, it just sounds like one of those bad homework excuses. Like you wanted to get out of work and, you know, it was like, oh, you're late for work because you had a hangover. Now, oh, fuck, tell them I was abducted. And then, you know, it's your excuse. It's like a, a doctor's so excuse. Fucking skeptical. Daniel, how do, you, how do you explain people <laughs> with the same details who have never met? I mean, how many ways are there to be abducted? They what grabbed about, me, took me away, and are you, me back. Are you this sure in your skepticism about, what about mediums? Mediums? Like, do I think that people are in touch with, uh, uh, I believe there's different levels of intelligence. I believe people can sense things and maybe have a more keen, uh, relationship with ah no it's hard it's hard i don't believe in mediums i don't wow that's i'm the, gonna be honest with you i house. don't yeah no. at all no you've never talked to someone who had some fucking like intuition that was just deeper than most and the ability to like read a space no wow Give I for sure have. The one person at I CVS sure who tried to con me into that she took several hundred of my dollars and i would walk <laughs> to go meet her and she would lead me through a sound bath, and she said my whole life would turn around, and that's right before I left L.A. So, no, I don't believe in mediums. Wow, you guys, you guys shock me. You believe in them? For sure. For sure. Have you met, a, like, a good one who yeah. gave you some good stuff? Yeah. I do. I think there's people out there who are connected to, like I said, this life is so much more than we see. We know You're this scientifically. Wrong. Like, You're not wrong. everything we're seeing, we're picking up in our brain and piecing it together. Like, there's so many more energies out there, right? Like, even the spectrum of light, like, we see a very small, small wavelength. wavelength. There's so much more around us that we can't that fucking I see. In. So I just uh. say that to say, like, I, I think there's even more energy out there, right? And, and there's some theory that, like, all time is kind of existing at once, even though mm -hmm. we go on it on this linear plane. So I do believe there are people born with a heightened sense of things. Yeah. And, like, like I said, I believe in I'm being guided by, I don't have a name for it, but, I mean, ancestors, guides, guardian angels, whatever you want to say it. Like, I'm being, something is out there that I can't see that's beyond me that, like, helps me and is benevolent to me. Mm -hmm. And I do think there are people that are tapped in enough to that space, the other side, maybe the the whatever that I don't know what it is to their Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. No, right? <laughs> he said no. I mean, you, dude, I'm I'm open to that, like the, but break it down into like the spectrum and you know some specific wavelength, and then what is being measured. So if a person is able to tell me something, they would they would have to tell me, oh, I sense danger for you, like, <laughs> aura, like there's a wavelength of danger that my brain is attuned to. And I know that you're in danger, but it couldn't be something like, I know that you have seven brothers and six sisters because I just read your body. Yeah, no, of course not. Well, no, some it's people not, do that. But it's not yeah. specific. Like, it's not black and white specific. Yeah. Right, it's, yeah, usually mm -hmm. that, because it's coming through intuitively, like, it's, it's, you know, sometimes it's gonna come through with <gasps> Wait, doubt and messiness, even for the medium. Is black and white a racist expression? No, no, black, black and, and and I no, those are colors that yeah. do exist. <laughs> yeah. And also zeros and ones for right. like computers, like no, no. Okay. I, I hate that we use black and white to describe people because no one's black. I, this right. thing is I, black. I know. This is black. Yeah. That's not, I hate that it this became is that. Yeah. Now this that, isn't white. Yeah, no, not at all. No, it's like hot chocolate. And it's, it's, like and it's not black. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. It's hot chocolate. But but this is this comes from a system that was put in place to dehumanize those and differentiate. So yeah. it sucks because black gets associated with yeah. dark things, bad things. Like yeah. and it's like and then 
fuck, I hate that when shit. We, no. When it's just straight up colors that yeah. people shouldn't feel like they have to tiptoe around. Right, right. 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 Black and white colors. isn't a term about it been, people. It's about yeah. saying right. it's clearly different but things. But sometimes yeah. we don't colors. know the fucking know. You know, etymology know. of things. Yeah, there's so much dark history uh, in the world. That's it's so I mean. hard. Yeah. Yeah. I used to love history. I hate it. Dude, right I, I those TikToks where it tells you the you know how these phrases started, my God, they are brutal. Yeah, I stay away from Brutal. Those. Yeah, that's intense. Yeah. Oh, and just lastly, before we wrap up, my question is, so do you ever feel like when you're alone, like, do you ever like turn around or you feel, I don't know, sometimes I feel like, like I'm being watched for lack of a better term, but I kind of have to turn around and I feel a little bit like nervous. I have to get through the space quickly. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Do you ever feel that? No. Fear, no, that I'm being stalked or something? No. Like, but in your room by something, I don't know, like sometimes I'll have to like, I have no problem walking through the hallway and then other times I just feel like, ooh. Mm -mm, mm -mm. No. At a certain point, I like, like even horror films, I loved them growing up um, and at a certain point in my life, I stopped watching them because I don't, I don't like that frequency yeah. for life. And then, so even when it came to like supernatural or paranormal, like I'm just like, I, I'm not calling in E I'm not even accepting that as real, like horror, evil, spooky. Yeah. Like, nah, if there's anything extra, I'm open to it being maybe like for me or, or just not that frequency of like spooky and scared. And even like yeah. living on your own, like being a kid and being afraid of like a dark room, at a certain point, I just decided, like, no, dude, like this is my apartment. Nothing's in here. It's just dark. Like, yeah. I'll walk, I can walk around in the dark. It's not, dark isn't scary just because I can't see. I know everything that's fucking in here. Like, yeah. I live here. Um, so, yeah, at a certain point, I just decided, like, I'm not playing this imagination game of spookiness. Oh, like, no. nah, we live in a life, there's enough real shit to be afraid of. Like, yeah, no, humans, now nah, them, on the book, they are scary. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, there's enough real shit. Earthquakes? Earthquakes. Oh, that too. Terrifying. Yeah. Real. Terrifying. Tsunami? Um, but I'm I'm so shocked. I'm so I guessed you wouldn't believe in mediums. I'm shocked you have a straight up like no, not at all. I just, mm, I mean, I think people can be in tune. Yeah, but I don't think like people are talking to you through. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I just don't. Like I think you can be in tune to like you know somebody's aura or path or whatever. But we gotta just, get we gotta get you both with one of these like celebrity mediums that are out there. You they're know I mean? the biggest crocs of all time, and fuck those celebrities who go along with it. No, we gotta get you guys on. Should we get on there? Also, yeah. invite us on. What is yeah. his name? I mean, Tyler. Right. He's one of them. Yeah, we oh, gotta get you Tyler's on because maybe he'll say some shit, and you're like, "What the fuck?" I mean, Did you hear that, Greg? Yeah. yeah Dang. We got to, we, yeah, maybe we'll try it. We'll have to do another episode where we get our energies red or something like exactly. that. Exactly. You know what I mean? There's, there's definitely more than just what we fucking see and think we know. There's you know more, what I mean? but I don't think other people know it. I believe there are people <laughs> who are able to hold on to like memories longer, but I, that's about it. Wow. That's me. Got any plans oh, for dude. Halloween this year? Actually, uh, I want to say this. First time I had sex outside was on your uh, staircase. I w my girlfriend was dressed as a hura, and I was dressed. What as did you say? A hura? Who was I dressed as who was the guy? A whore? No, a uh, hura. No, no, no. What's her name? Is her name Uhura from Star Trek? Uhura? Oh, it's a Star Trek thing. Yeah. Sorry. And I, and I wore the little. Who was the other guy? Um, he was the guy from Reading Rainbow. Oh, Lavar Burton. Lavar Burton. I was dressed like him with the thing. It was Wait, great. It was magical. You had sex on your, which your part of the staircase? On the, the like, side stairs side by the Hollywood sign. Oh, well, well, no, no. All of it was by the Hollywood sign. I know. But the side, the side of the house, outside, yeah, yeah, uh -huh. but the side, not the main stairs up to the house. No, 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 no. Oh. The no. side stairs. Yeah, it was magical. Like awesome. with the trees. Yeah. You at you fucked out there during one of our parties. Yes, dressed as Levar Burton. Wow. <laughs> God. Or whatever his name was on Star Trek. God bless, it was awesome. dude. It was That's awesome. incredible. That's what's up. Yeah. Wow, I'm so glad you had sex in that house or outside <laughs> yeah, of that house. Outside of that house, yes, yes, outside. Yeah. The rolling oh. hills and you both accidentally roll right off oh, the bro, mountain. Oh, bro, it would have been bad. Dude, so we, we've talked about <laughs> on the pod, I used to have parties at like my parents' house in the Hollywood Hills. It was like fucking dream life. Um, <laughs> one of the times I, I came down from one of those parties outside and um, like there were, there were 
fucking four sets of stairs up to the front door because it was built onto a hill. And I was like walking down, cleaning up and like stuck in the bushes on the staircase outside was a paper bag or a plastic bag like caught in the bushes. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And so I'm cleaning the bag up and I open the bag up. (laughs) Wow. Uh I open the bag up and it's it's fucking shitty clothes. It's clothes covered in shit. And what it means happens is someone during the party shit themselves, got it in a bag, went to leave the party, it got caught in these bushes, and they fucking panicked and abandoned their shitty clothes in a bag. Whoa. Yo, made me laugh so hard. Did you take a big whiff? Hard. <laughs> Damn. Did you get a whiff just because? Like, you open it and you're like, party. Th- <laughs> <laughs> Lindsay, you're the most out of pocket human in the world. <laughs> wait, wait, um, wait. Was it a girl's clothes or a guy's clothes? Girl's clothes. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't recognize who it was from the party. I, dude, honestly, when I saw it was shitty clothes, like, I didn't oh, yeah. look <laughs> too detailed. You know what I mean? Like, shut the back. I wasn't looking all detailed. I just saw, like, girls' clothes. Shit, I would have and like sh- closed it and went and throw it out. But then I like processed like what happened because it was Damn. caught like on this fucking bush, and I'm like, this person what shit bitch. themselves at the party, panicked, got it cleaned up, left, and then it got stuck. And what they panicked clothes and left did it. they put on? Who knows? Who knows? We'll never know. Wow. Only that well, person knows. I hope they watch please, this podcast. Please comment that it was you an did alien. It, it was an alien. Enough. For sure. It's been long enough. God, that was good. You know? What a funny. Who hasn't fucking shit themselves Fess up in to public? It, Carly Casey. That's <laughs> <laughs> yeah, great. I'm going to send that to her. <laughs> um, all right, guys. Uh, this has been fun. You look amazing. Thanks for switching with me. I was being swallowed by that pickle. <laughs> yeah, Lindsay. you see, I do have your best interest at heart. I, I know. Yeah. Most of the time. Most, mostly. Most of the time. That's Daniel, true. you're the sexiest glizzy I've ever <laughs> hey. seen. Hey! Glizzy, glizzy. <laughs> oh, Thanks for the glizzy. Dude, <laughs> this is what the guy wears on TikTok. He does an NPC stream wearing that. This? Oh. And then he holds a hot... No, he doesn't even hold a hot dog. It's a fake He hot just dog. gestures like with machine it's gun noises glizzy. that he's... Glizzy, it's it's the weirdest <laughs> thing I've ever seen. TikTok is a strange place, guys. It is. Your hair is sticking up out of your banana right now. It's actually so cute. You look like alfalfa. <sighs> um, all right, tip for this episode. Yeah, really make it nice and serious so we can get a close-up of you in this costume. (laughs) Um, If you take a big shit at a party, (laughs) try to make it to the bathroom first. Um, Otherwise, that's it. Oh, always bring a change of clothes to a party because you never know when you're going to shit yourself and have to throw it out. (laughs) (laughs) I mean, I guess so, but I don't want to like build in this like open expectation that like it's bring maybe going to be common that I'm going to shit myself. Yeah, but bring you know? two outfits. But here's the thing, <laughs> you know. It's pretty rare. It's a lot of stress to not shit yourself if you don't have another outfit. You're putting all your eggs in that one outfit. Yeah, I'm going to put my eggs in the basket that I'm not going to shit myself when I go out. Right. Yeah. That's, that's, that's a Same slippery mistake slope. that girl made. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, but yeah, certain, certain drugs will, uh, will have you shit. Loosen those right? bowels quick. <laughs> yeah. Uh, dude, so, uh, I will say my tip is be safe out there on Halloween night, guys. Look out for the little kiddos, you know, um, and scare them. Oh yeah. Yeah. Scare them for sure. But, uh, yeah, make sure that, um, yeah, you check their little bags when they come back, you know, cause, uh, you know what people put in the candy and stuff. Check the fucking candy. I don't know. I don't know. That was dark. What's your your favorite candy? Before I get I hate candy corn. I know that much. Um, it used to be Skittles. Now it's sour strips. Oh, what's your favorite candy? Uh, candy. I loved Butterfinger, but now it is what do you call the is it Razzmatazz? What do you call those things? The, Nerd the strips. No, maybe they're the same strips you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, the sour strips, right? S- sour strips. I think so. Yeah, I love those guys. I love wow, them. You're both on the same page. Yeah. Um, I think my favorite candy at this moment in life, although I've barely eat candy, but it's maybe like a Kit Kat. <gasps> Dude, Crispy, a good Kit Kat after Kit a minute. Kat. Holy crap. Um, give me one second. You guys stay right there. What? Oh. Is there a surprise? When, oh, when people wow. walk away and then come back, usually there's a gift. I yeah. hope he has gifts. <laughs> oh, he asks us what our favorite candy is. You're going to bring us some? You're going to bring us that? Wow. Sounds like, oh, God. 
Hey. Oh my God. What's happening? My tip is have fun this Halloween, guys. No, oh, <laughs> you suck. <laughs> <laughs> we love you guys. <laughs> God damn it. Uh, for those of you listening, I have silly string. Ah! It was a trick all along. <laughs> Guys, you I didn't have mother? good aim. I, I did put it right in your faces. You did. I mean, that's the, I know you were aiming it's for like that. It's like relish on the glizzy. Can I tell you, this makes me so happy. <laughs> this makes me so. <laughs> Daniel, Dude, you're pissed. I haven't seen, <laughs> it's in your beard. Oh, I haven't no. seen silly string in so long. When I was at the store, I was like, I gotta get it. Oh, why is it so wet? wet? Yeah, I don't Well, dude, of course it's wet. No, it's... why is it wet? I don't remember that. Silly String being fucking it up juice, dude. Oh, God, smell that. What's it smell like? Mm. Oh, it smells <laughs> It smells like your belly button, dude. Shut. Oh. Wait. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't give them permission. What the Hold on. Is this that no, my belly button smells stuff? way worse than that. <laughs> dude, it, it does smell weird. Um, ha My tip, guys, have fun this Halloween. Um, Be safe out there. Have fun. Be silly. Enjoy the silliness of the night. Um, yeah, uh, be sexy if you want to be sexy. Don't drink too much. Drink some water, and uh, you know, let's get through this holiday season. Yeah, you don't have to have your kooka out to be sexy. Exactly. Are like I find, songs? I find Lindsay very sexy right now. Like, come on. Because I'm just being me, <laughs> right? E okay, we'll see you next week. Goodbye. Peace see out, you people. Next week. Happy Halloween. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for watching this thank week's you. episode and thank you to our patrons. patrons. Yes. Patreon.com slash Ned's Pod. We part. love you. We do uh, bonus content, live streams, and mm -hmm. you guys help keep this show mm -hmm. going. If you want to join, check us out. Yes. And big shout out to our Super Friends. Super Friends Dance. Super Friends Dance. And a big shout out to our Super Duper Friends. Super Duper Friends. Okay, we starting out with Legendary X, AK. Mm. And we got Rebecca Saletti. Let's go, Becca. Eve. Eve! Thank you guys! Eve. We love you! Super friends, Dan. Super friends. We'll see you on the live stream. Thank super you, super friends. Super friends. Uh, 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 Thanks so much for watching this episode of the Ned's Declassified Podcast Survival Guide. To see clips from this pod, go check out the Ned's Pod Clips YouTube at the link in the description. And if you need even more of us in your life, come and join our Patreon, also at the link in the description. See you soon.